Welcome to a short overview about the Picture Park SharePoint Connector. It was built to overcome the limitations of managing digital assets in Microsoft SharePoint. The SharePoint Connector has several functionalities. The first one is that you can map complete Picture Park libraries with SharePoint. In order to do so, I just go up here into Files and create a new Picture Park collection. Of course, there are certain use cases where I would like to import assets into SharePoint. If I create a Picture Park collection, it will keep that library in sync with Picture Park, meaning as soon as there is new content in Picture Park available, it will be also available directly within SharePoint. So let's do that now. The following pop-up window will open up and I just have to specify name, let's say for example, logos. Below here I have now all the Picture Park containers. I can now search through them and select, for example, all of my logos in here. I can also specify now the formats in which the asset should be available. Let's say Internet, Office and high res format and click on that button here. If I select Dynamic Library, it means that the original assets will remain within Picture Park and Picture Park will just hand over metadata and a thumbnail. If I click on Save, the process will start now in the background. It will now import all the thumbnails plus all the relevant metadata. I can close this dialog because I don't have to wait until it's finished. Let's refresh the page and as you can see there is instantly a library here which is showing me the picture park symbol. This means this library is now in sync. I can now go into that library and see the first content which arrives in here. The process will start instantly and if I update that page here there will be new content in just a few seconds. I can now click on here onto the asset and when I do that I see all the metadata which was handed over from picture park directly. If I want to download the asset now, I can select up here the derivatives, which I set up just before, like Internet Format, Office Format or high Format, which would mean a direct download from the Picture Park system. Of course, I can use these mapped libraries now throughout SharePoint, throughout all applications which I'm using. On the other hand, there's another functionality to, for example, use content in team sites. Let's go up here onto an example page for example this one and I would now like to insert a video let's click on edit up here and I now have up here that insert ribbon of picture park where I can create a link That means I can point to an asset stored in picture park or I can just insert an asset let's do that right now as soon as I hit that one it will open up the picture park asset connector I can now browse for files search for assets use the taxonomy to get to the right asset or just use the file filter up here to filter for videos. Let's take the video about adaptive metadata, click on OK, select the MP4, click on continue and it will now create me an embed code and embed me the video directly in my SharePoint team site. On the other hand, I can do the same if I want to create a link. Let's do that again. Filter now for a PDF file. Take that case study here, click on OK. English language version is all right. Click on continue. And Picture Park would now create me a direct link to that asset on my team site. If I want, if I want to insert an image now, which I would probably like to crop even before inserting, I can do exactly the same step. Just click on insert. The Picture Park asset connector will open up. And there is a single sign-on function, by the way. That means you wouldn't see all the assets available inside Picture Park. Of course, we're taking into consideration your individual user rights and permissions. Let's say I want to insert the image of the Niagara Fall here. And before inserting, I want to crop it. Let's say, going crop up here, fixed ratio and size, let's say 600 times 300. I can now select a certain part of that image, like this one here. Click on Crop, Import, select a certain DPI, click on OK. Of course, you could also store presets in here to not do this every time. And it would now crop the file and insert it directly on my team site. you can see. You can also play back the video now and save that whole team page for your colleagues. On the other hand now, 
and this is very important to know, there is also a federated search experience within SharePoint now. Because what I can now do, let's say I'm searching for Sitecore, for, for which PicturePark also provides a default connector. I can now search for Sitecore, and you will see there is an image here for the PicturePark DAM connector for Sitecore. I, just, I can just click now on the link here, and we'll see all the relevant metadata. And in this case, there is no download allowed for this file. Many thanks for watching the demo about the PicturePark SharePoint connector. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact sales at picturepark.com.